All right, I'm back with another mail day. Got a bunch more different Japanese sign cards and different products to go over. Uh, do let's just get started. Starting her off, we got some of my English Weishwurz cards. Some of my Bang Dream ones. Got a Rinko of Harmony. Very, very nice. Got another one of the Blue Roses of Harmony. It's the Akko. I pretty much really like these ones. Particularly, where is it? There is the next one. We got Yukina. This one's by far my favorite. Yukina's definitely one of my favorite Bang Dream characters. It's probably her and Chiwa, I believe the other character's name. But Yukin is by far the best, at least in my opinion. Her cards are pretty much almost always the most expensive, outside of maybe one or two occasions with other sets, but they're actually not that hard to find anymore, which is nice for English. Ooh, we got a Harana. I finally was able to get the English version of this. I have had the Japanese for like a year and a half. I remember when the English one was like $30, like in mid-2021, and then it spiked to like 60, then it went to 100, and then fell back down to 60, and it's kind of just not moved again. That whole spike in English pricing was kind of just insane. Cards, cards have continuously gone down after that, but it's just hard to find pricing that isn't outrageous anymore. Ooh, let's thought this card has even existed. This is the combination card that has all of the ba main band leaders of just the blue rose. Very, very nice card. This is the Roselia group one. I think there's one for each band group, but this is the main one I like, so I thought I'd get the only one I really needed. Alright, we got my Japanese Y Shorts cards. I believe this is Alter Saber from Volume 1 of Heaven's Feel? Yeah, Volume 1. I wanted the Japanese versions specifically. Specifically? Specifically. Because the English version of this card does not have the actual signature. It has a stupid stamp, and I really don't like it. And this card's worth like 30, 40 bucks, so it's not really expensive. And it's just cool. Oh, this card is. This card was a pain in the ass to get. It, it is. It's, I think it's called Mirror Reflection Victoria, or Shattered Mirrors, or something. It is very, very annoying to find this card right now. It is stupidly cheap for what it is. It's a Lost Decade card from like a, that's the it's a series it's from Lost Decade, but it, in my opinion, is like one of the top five or top ten best artworks they've ever done on a card. It's almost seemed like it's been bought out a bit because it went from being like thirty, forty bucks, and then it jumped up to a hundred, and then fell back down to sixty, and then jumped up, and then went down. And I'm like, what is happening with this card in the past like two, three months? I just I got this one which has a crease along the back of the card. And, Trust me on it. So it dropped the value quite a bit. And then I grabbed two more mint copies. It's technically meant to be three, but one of the orders got cancelled, so I just have two more. But yeah, like I said, it went from like a 30, 40 card, dollar card, and then it jumped like a hundred, then it fell down to like 50, 60, then it jumped up again to like 80, and it's kind of stabilized closer to the 50, 60 dollar range again. Which, when the card was like 20 dollars for years, and then it just skyrocketed and three, four months, it's kind of iffy, but yeah, the artwork is absolutely insane on it. It is, I think they did a card similar to this in Azure Lane, which that card's like $1,500, and I just don't even think it's as good as this one, which sucks. Oh, we got my Sinfo Gear. I've been trying to connect every character for Sinfo Gear. I'm really close. She, I think her name is Tasuba, I want to say. She's not that difficult to pick up, and I think the most expensive card of hers is like an SSP that's like 120 bucks. Everything else is close to like the 20 to 40 dollar range. But I absolutely love all the Sinfo Gear cards. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I got my Bakamonogatari, my last, my very last Tatagi sign card I needed, which is the Japanese version. I went over like every other version and all the precious memory one. Oh, wait, no, I have the other precious one. Yeah. Every other precious memory card besides the ones I'll show in like. A couple minutes in this video, because they are gorgeous looking cards for Hitagi. Oh, here we can just move that stack. There we go. This is my, what is it, Shakugan no Shana? Flame Haze, yeah, this is the Flame Haze Trial Deck one. I loved old Trial Deck cards, because they are just pretty cheap. Like, even that Hitagi you saw is like 20, 30 bucks. It's not very expensive. This card's, again, like, probably 30 to 40 still. That's because every single... Like, box of six trial decks, you get one SP compared to the ones now where you get 
one or two maybe in a whole case compared to like eight like the old ones. So it's just a lot cheaper since there's so much more of these printed back then, even though these are from like 2011, 2012. Oh, another flame, not another flame haze, another shotgun Oshana card. I want to say her name is Clara or Clea or something. I, I cannot remember her name now. Very, very okay artwork. I think the background looks trash because it's just a slat piece of laminate foiling. It kind of just looks bad. But it's a cheap card because it's from an old set that people just don't really care about. Only the Shocking and Oshana cards are actually like, expensive. Everything else kind of is mid in price. Ah, I got my... What is this? The... Yeah, this is the rainbow foiled one. It's a little bit hard to see, but the card rainbow shines on the signature. Yeah, it's a little hard to see. The English versions of these, since they're all XRs and you get one in every box, which I think is how they should do signed cards, they're all, they're all worth like 10 to $20. Even the English versions don't break more than like 20 25 So they're just very cheap and all good looking Hatsune Miku cards. Just like this one. Another XR card right down here. XR in the bottom left. They are very, very good, very, very cheap, and I think all of them are just, I don't see undervalued, but they're just, they're just such a huge supply compared to the demand for them that it's just, there's no way they're really going to get ever expensive, regardless, even if it's Hatsune Miku. Ooh, this is my Abyssal Fleet SP. I think, I think the Abyssal Fleet stuff is also still stupidly cheap, like, most of them don't break more than $20, $30, even in English. But I guess it makes sense since they're like hot stamped on the right here. It's like hot stamping compared to an actual signature. So it makes sense to me why most of them are very cheap in value. Since nobody really likes them hot stamp stuff. Including me. I just think the artwork looks really good. Yeah, we got some like, more random Weishwart sign cards. These ones, you'll see, I kind of just picked up because I think the artwork looks good on them. I honestly cannot remember for the life of me what series this is from. But hey, it just... That was an interesting card. Looks good. If I could actually, like, read that text down in the bottom right for what series it is, but... It doesn't ring a bell. What is this one? Oh, man. CK2. I have no clue again. It's not Milky Holmes. I don't... Maybe it's Milky Holmes? Maybe, actually? Uh, maybe. It might be Milky Holmes. These are, these ones are non-foiled. Same with this one. This one's also non-foiled. They are, these are really old ones from like 2010 or 2011 as well, where they just, they didn't actually make everything foiled and look good. This one's just one of the double signed. Somehow it's considered a common because they didn't even put it as an SP in the old series if they weren't foiled, which is very, very interesting when you get into really the nitty gritty of Weiss and other card games. Ah, uh, these are the... These are the Hatagi cards I was talking about earlier. They are double-signed Precious Memory cards. And oh my god, are they gorgeous. They have both Hanakasawa and Hitagi on them. They are... Oh, they are gorgeous. Precious Memory is probably one of the best card games to actually go into and buy stuff. Because 99% of it is ungodly cheap. Like, if I was in Asia, this card would be like $5-10. I had to pick it up for like closer to 20 25 because nobody's willing to sell a card like this for 5 to $10 nowadays outside of Asia, which definitely is annoying, but I was able to at least collect the whole set because there's three of these ones of the double-signed Hitagi cards. God, I absolutely love them. Like, the artworks are... I finally was able to complete my set of every Hitagi card because I was able to pick up these three. They definitely... We're not cheap for what they are, even though they are very, very cheap cards. They are absolutely gorgeous. Double signs are just so much better. And like everything with precious memories, since every booster box you get, you get one SP. And every trial deck you get, you get one SP. So 99% of the cards are dirt cheap. Like they it's hard to find a product that an SP that costs more than a box. Even at like the Retail price of like $40 US. Oh, this card. Another precious memory. Is this the Ilya from the Fantasia Fate series? Like that little like spin off series they did? Like Carnival Fantasia? 
It's the only Fate one I was able to pick up. I've seen a couple other ones, and they again, they, the actual market is like $10 to $30. But the secondary resell of like eBay is like 100 plus, and that's just never, ever going to sell. Because as soon as you get in any, do any research, you figure out they're worth, like, all of them are under $30 or around, like under $10. So why would you ever pay like 100 <laughs> This doesn't make sense. Oh, now these, these are even more cheaper cards. They are the trial deck ones, which are, it'll actually reflect, yeah, the gold signed one, like that gold, silver signs, everything with white short, not white short, precious memories, that is trial decks will be silver, and you get one per trial deck. So they are all, it's hard to find a trial deck card that's more than like $20. There's maybe like some from the high school DXD set, and then I think maybe like Testament of Sister New Devil, or like one or two other sets like that, but... Yeah, most stuff of these are like 5 to 15 bucks. Which is awesome, because it allows you to get, like this, an anchovy. Which, again, I had to overpay a bit on the, some of these, because... Eh, even if I'm paying like $15 a card, it's kind of overpaying for most of them. When, if I was in Asia, I could pick them up for like, probably under 5 bucks. But, since I got a big order of a bunch of stuff, and I have a huge order of like... Something like 24 or... 32 signed cards coming in one order. I was able to get like a bulk deal on a lot of it, which made a lot of the trial deck cards be closer to like $10 a card. Even after like shipping and imports to Canada, which that's what makes it really annoying to buy stuff. This is one of the Hatsune Miku ones, or from the Hatsune Miku set. I cannot remember her Vocalite name at all. I remember like Ren, and that's about it. She is just. Artwork was good, and it's like 10 bucks. Why not? This is from, I believe, Okami-san and like the Seven Warriors. Oh yeah, it literally, it literally has Okami-san and the Seven. Yeah, it, it literally puts it on the card. Yeah, good job, idiot. This, it has a whole set of these that are like, I don't want to say pajama themed. They're all like maid themed and different stuff. But this is the only one I actually liked. The other ones I kind of wanted to buy. The guy I was buying them didn't have them in stock, so I was like, okay. I'll just take this one. If you can find the other ones to set, I'll buy the whole set at once, but I'm not going to buy, like, two of the five, or one of the eight that are there. It just doesn't really make sense. This one's a good standalone card, though. Looks nice. Oh, some relatively recent, I guess, Precious Memory cards, which is the Don Machi ones, from, I believe, Jesus Christ, I believe the Season 3 was when she was introduced, the, like, Monster Chick, whatever her name is again. I cannot remember for the life of me, but I was able to get both of the ones they have of her artwork for the trial decks. Th these were like actually five dollars. Like they're really not valuable. The gold versions of them are like that have different artwork are like 20, 30 bucks, and that's kind of where the range gold ones go for is like 20, 30 range. But yeah, the silver trial deck ones are just as good in my opinion. Since once you throw them in a binder, half the time you can't even tell they're not gold, which is that's where most of these are going to be anyway, so they look good just being like that. Oh, this card is sick. It's my level Neo from, what is it, uh, Black Bullet, I believe? Iuna, I want to say it's her name? I, sure, let's, let's go with that, Iuna. It's probably wrong, but level Neo cards, they are quite annoying to find if you don't know what you're looking for, since 9% of shops, like, at least online, don't carry them anymore. So you kind of have to like, only look in the secondary market, which for Asian cards, if it's not on a live card game, it's just hard to find any listings that aren't like on eBay for 10 times the price. And no one's ever going to buy it for that. Because if it's a dead card game, nobody knows it exists anymore. So why would the value be big for something like that? Oh, this is Chaos Muv Love. This series is weird. Let's just say that it's a, it's, if you've seen the high school DxD or like high school of the dead or any of the shows like that, it's one of those series. It's except it has mechas. That's, I, I looked at a bit of the show and I was like, oh my God, what is this? I cannot believe this went on and had like five different sets. And I'm like, oh my God, 
There's someone on eBay I saw who had a full collection of, like, every single Marvel Love card, like, in existence. And I was like, that's a cool collection. But I'm not even going to say the price they wanted, because I'm not even going to go into that. It It's a cool series, but it's like, you gotta be a super fan to really love the cards. Which they are good, and they, most of the cards are looking absolutely sick, just weird. Oh. More Overlord. Absolute gorgeous Evil Eye. I think this is the over yeah, Overlord 2. This one came out like four years ago now or something. Like when the actual season two came out. The only Evil Eye SP they've made for Chaos. It is still gorgeous. I personally think this artwork looks ten times better than the White Shorts ones. Like it's it is a gorgeous looking card. I should probably have grabbed those ones, but uh I, I went over them last video. This this artwork is sick. Like it, there's also an, a shell tier and like two Albedo cards. The Albedos are like 120 ish, and the other one's like 300. Depending if you look at like the volume water volume two, this card was like 100 bucks or like just under that. I think it was. It's it's really good. It's absolutely insanely gorgeous. Oh now these, this I believe is the Queen's Blade. Yeah, Queen's Blade. I personally. Never liked Queen's Blade as a series. I could never ever get into it. I just thought it was like it, it's like what's the, what's a fair comparison? It's like the Dead or Alive series. It's like it's I compare it to that, where it's over the top in every capacity and it succeeded because it was over the top in every capacity. But hey, the cards look good. So that's all that really matters, I guess. Now these these are more chaos cards that are actually. Like, oh, what is this series from? Heavens Connect? No, that's not, that's nowhere near what the actual name is. These ones are kind of ones I thought looked good. Again, they're pretty cheap. They're like twenty bucks a card, something like that. Maybe fifteen bucks. They're not not really expensive. They just look really good. God, oh, I have the second one of these it's from the Illusion set, from the Music Illusions. I went over her other SP I think last month as well. Super glad that I picked this one up actually from the per from a person was incredibly by accident and I was like heck yeah I, would, I have the other SP of her somehow in some random way I found the other one that exists it's a very very nice card this series I think it's like Aquapolis arcade or something I don't think it's Muv Love I, I almost am pretty sure it's, is it Muv Love I'm pretty sure it's like Aquapolis something again very very interesting series very, very cheap sign cards that just look really good. We got stuff like this as well, where I'm not sure if I consider this a sign card, even. Technically, in Chaos, it doesn't. It's considered a GR, but I kind of considered it a sign card because there is no, like, actual sign card of her. So I was like, ah, it's the... It has the hot stamp foiling on the side. It, it looks really good, and the background is actually really nice. So why why not? It's like fifteen and fifteen bucks or something. It's a nice looking card to throw in a binder. Ah, uh, I personally don't know why I picked these ones up again. May I, oh, it was because they were. I was getting a bunch of stuff from the same person. That that that's why. Okay, I have little notes of everything. Yeah, these I think it's from Baca and Test. Does it actually have the English translation? It does not. Yeah, this is this is Baca and Test. These are the, like, weird SRs, basically. They're really old. They're, like, 10 years old. But they're still cheap, because who really cares about a 10-year-old foil card, honestly? That's why I like stuff like this, because it's just super old, and it's super good-looking. This is Lucille. I think I only picked up, like, two random SR Lucille cards, and that's just because, again, they technically have a foil, like, signed thing on it, like a stamp, I guess. They just look good. Like, they... There's nothing else really talking about, about. They just look really good. They're nice binder cards, and they're all like a dollar to five dollars, depending which set you're looking at. They're very, very nice. Speaking of that, we got the last one. I cannot remember her name now, top man. It starts. She's. I know she's from a uh, railgun. I know that already. Like that's. I loved that series for a while, and then it kind of fell off pretty hard. Especially the Index series, it fell off real hard. But her cards are look really gorgeous. Same with uh, Mikoto and 
forget their Kuroko and stuff. All their cards look really gorgeous. Just sucks that I can't really get the sign cards anymore unless I go buy cards from 10 years ago. It's kind of annoying. Well, next month I should have a lot more interesting, a couple more Weishwurz cards. I have some more Victorias. Some of the new Heaven's Feel or Heaven's Burn Red cards. Got a bunch of precious memory stuff and like a huge order of like 30 plus sign cards I got over. Well, hope you all enjoyed. See you guys all next month.